Hello from Suffolk, England, where we're set for sunny intervals this morning, with cloud coming on by lunchtime and through the afternoon. And the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. Mark chapter 4, verses 19 to 20. It's Monday the 27th of April, in the year of our Lord 2020, and it's time for a dose of civilised calm to start your week. This is Mark's Almanac, your regular respite from the madness of World War V, recorded in the peace of the English countryside. I sent you poor old Omar. I hardly know why I print any of these things which nobody buys, and I scarce now see the few I give them to. But when one has done one's best and is sure that the best is better than so many will take pains to do, though far from the best that might be done, one likes to make an end of the matter by print. I suppose very few people have ever taken such pains in translation as I have, though certainly not to be literal, but at all cost a thing must live with a translation of one's own worse life, if one can't retain the originals better. Better a live sparrow than a stuffed eagle. That's from a letter by Edward Fitzgerald, written this day in 1859, to E.B. Cowell, the Orientalist who introduced him to the poem The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Fitzgerald's translation would go on to earn him lasting fame. On this day in 1667, the poet John Milton, broke and desperate for money, sold the copyright of his extraordinary biblical epic Paradise Lost for ten pounds. Also on this day, in 1759, Mary Wollstonecraft was born in Spitalfields, London. Author of A Vindication of the Rights of Women, a founding text in the struggle for legal equality for women, she died aged just 38. Here's a poem, an extract from Fitzgerald's translation of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Come, fill the cup, and in the fire of spring the winter garment of repentance fling. The bird of time has but a little way to fly, and lo, the bird is on the wing. And look, a thousand blossoms with the day woke, and a thousand scattered into clay, and this first summer month that brings the rose shall take Jamshid and Kaikabad away. But come with old Khayyam, and leave the lot of Kaikabad and Kaikoshru forgot. Let Rustum lay about him as he will, or Hatim Tai cry supper, heed them not. With me along some strip of herbage strown, that just divides the desert from the sown, where name of slave and sultan scarce is known, and pity Sultan Mahmud on his throne. Here, with a loaf of bread beneath the bough, a flask of wine, a book of verse, and thou beside me, singing in the wilderness. And wilderness is paradise enow. That's almost all for today. If you know anyone who could use a touch of calm, do please share this, and do keep your messages and suggestions coming in. One of the highlights of my year is the Old Valley Spring Festival, just down the road from me at a small Suffolk farm. It's a place that celebrates food, farming, landscape, and the arts. This year's physical festival has been cancelled, but they have placed as much online as possible, so wherever you are, you can go to Old Valley Spring Festival, that's A-L-D-E, Valley Spring Festival, all one word, .co.uk, and see their online exhibition with a stunning new work by Maggie Hambling, Cormorant with Struggling Fish, and also the online open studios of local artisan makers. If you need some music to wake up to, 
How about the hillbilly Thomists? Just a closer walk with thee. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk, let me walk close to thee. Until tomorrow, stay civilized, keep calm, and please keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.